Good evening. In this video, I'll discuss about how to apply Anderson and Xiao model of dynamic panel. Generally, there are three different models that can be applied in dynamic model. The first one is Anderson and Xiao model. The second one is difference GMM and the third one is system GMM. Out of these three methods, in this video, I'll discuss about how to apply Anderson and Xiao model. I'll discuss with the help of two different steps. So first step talks about convert all the variables into first difference. Like this is the data set which has been already used. In this data set, n, n is nothing but log of employment. n is our dependent variable. w is nothing but log of real product ways. k is log of gross capital and ys is log of industry output. Hence, this w, k, ys, these are independent variables. As, you, as we have seen in first step, we have to convert all these dependent and independent variables in first difference. Hence, first and foremost, how to convert this entire variables in first difference. So I select this N, go to add and click on first differences of selected variable. The moment I click, I find D underscore N, which is nothing but first difference of log of employment. Similarly, I select W, go to add, and then click on first difference of selected variables. Then select this K, go to add, first difference of selected variables, go to, uh, then select ys, go to add, select this first difference of selected variables. It means I have created the first difference of all dependent and independent variables in this data set. Now, how to apply Anderson and Xiao model? Look, when you go to the down of this gradle in first you find calculator the second one is a script and the third one is open gradle console so we will be dynamic panel on this gradle console so i click this gradle console and then i write here the command right so in this gradle console what is my dependent variable? My dependent variable is n, right? So I write here tsls, then a space, then I write here d underscore n. So d underscore n is nothing but difference of uh, this, you can say log of employment. Similarly, d underscore n, so this uh, uh, d underscore n minus my, uh, one, this is nothing but uh, dynamic of, uh, or you can say lag one of uh, D underscore M. Then I write here all uh, independent variables like D underscore uh, W, then D underscore K, D underscore YS, and then I select, and then I simply write semicolon a space zero a space all these independent variables like d underscore w d underscore k d underscore ys and finally n and then lag two so here zero to entire variables like zero is nothing but level and then entire independent variables as well as 
like two of dependent variable have been used as instrumental variable. I have already discussed about instrumental variable concept. So I request you to go through that video also. And after that, I simply press on enter. Then I get result of Anderson and Xiao model. So starting from here, D underscore N underscore one that have has been instrumented and instruments have been like uh, D underscore W, D underscore K, D underscore YS and D underscore two. So these entire variables as I discussed have been used as instrumental variable in this Anderson and Xiao. If you talk about lag one of dependent variable, which is treated as uh, independent variable it is significant as well as the coefficient of that variable is less than one which meets true and it is expected from the model that coefficient of uh, dependent variable which has been treated as lag one as independent variable has to be significant and its coefficient has to be less than one and the same thing is found here. Overall model is fit because here the p-value of f statistic is uh, significant and then all the independent variables like uh, these three all are significant. Talking about this Hausman test, here this Hausman test is nothing but selection between OLS and instrumental variable regression. So null hypothesis is OLS estimates are consistent, but when you see the p-value, it's less than 5% and you can say that OLS estimates are not consistent. It means instrumental variable is suitable or consistent. So that is also true. Talking about Sargon over identification test, the p-value of this Sargon test is all instruments are valid, right? And uh, if you see the p-value of uh, this Sargon test, it is greater than 5%. It means null hypothesis is not rejected. And we expect that Sargon test has not to be significant. And the same thing is here. It means instruments which have been used in this model are valid. Weak instrument test as we have already covered in this Sargon over identification test. So that is all about how to apply Anderson and Xiao model in Gretel. I hope you like it. Thank you very much.